Okay, so last time Mila decided to just slam a door behind us. And, uh, you know, I can understand, you know, like, uh, family is, you know, the only thing she got. And, um, you know, suddenly, like, or, you know, dad is kidnapped by the brother, and the brother, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I cannot take that. Enjoy the feast. Oh, what? So yeah, uh, I do understand. So uh, no hard feelings there. What's this? Can't. Right. This one? Ah, now we actually can talk with everybody. Uh, where was that? Tira. There. Wow, okay. <laughs> I wonder if some of these recipes are actually quite good. You know, I haven't tried, nor I'm, do I think I'm gonna, but you know. Never mind. Hello, Jeb. Hello, young scout. I was hoping to catch you. Why, Captain Jeb, I didn't expect to see you here. Thanks to you. I wouldn't have left my little hut in the woods if you... you hadn't helped me realize how much I missed my little brother, Pickerel. You were right. Life's too short to live with bitterness in one's heart. Jeb, you... have you been told yet what happened? With the Scrimpaws, you mean? Yes, Glimber told me. I'm... I'm just heartbroken, truly. I knew Bolo had been having a hard time lately, but I never imagined, well... But listen, I don't doubt with a single hair on my body that Valor will bring Bolo home. And Mila, too. I can't stop seeing Mila's face, terrified, before she vanished behind that door. We failed her. Valo trusted us with her, and now who knows where she is? Mila made her own decision. It's not your fault. She's not a divin anymore, and, and no one can convince that wild child to do anything she doesn't want to do. But don't worry. Soon as I leave Redwall, I'm going to search for her. Bring her home safe. I want to come with you. Fraby and I have already spoken of heading off to find her ourselves. Surely we'd have a better chance altogether. Then perhaps another adventure is on our horizon, eh? We're gonna have to go a long way because we can't open the damn door, you know. <laughs> and you know, what is she gonna... Okay, she... They did run across that little place when we were running from... Uh, scum snouts, so uh, she probably knows there's a way back, so uh, yeah. What's next for you and Pickerel? Well, I don't plan to stay in Redwall long. My brother wants me to return to Lilygrove with him, but my home is in the slough now. Aye! I do hope you and Pickerel keep in touch from now on. Oh, certainly! He even agreed, though not without grumbling, to visit my home on the way back to Lilygrove. Don't worry. I'm not going to lose my little brother again. Enjoy your stay at the Abbey, Captain. Do take some time for your own rest and relaxation, young scout. It's more and more, yeah. We're looking at this tapestry back here. Can't really tell all, all the animals, but... Well, well, well. If it isn't our family's keeper, eh? I'm sorry? I hear you convinced my brother to come reconnect with me. Well, not that it's any of your business what goes on in our star thistle doings, but I suppose I ought to thank you. You asked that me to. you and Jeb have made up? Made up? No! Jebediah is a lazy mouse whose penchant for toads and flies is a disgrace to the family. But I, I suppose we are speaking to each other. Say, uh, did you find any pieces of that journal I asked you to keep an eye out for? I'm sorry, but no. I didn't find any. 
Well, I guess I can't expect much more from someone such as yourself. Uh, no offense meant, of course, but you aren't trained in the scholarly ways such as I am. If you happen to go out again, do look for them. Uh, they're likely to be spread about in strange chests. If you bring me the whole set, why, I would be a happy mouse of academia, that is for certain. So, what do you plan to do from here? Uh, Jeb and I have been chatting, and, well, as much as I wish he'd return to Lilygrove, he yearns for his home in the swamp. Odd as it sounds. Just as odd as living in the catacombs. Ah, you're a funny one, young scout. But I will be returning to Lilygrove once the scouts deem it safe. I've already been away from my study too long. Jeb has agreed to keep in touch now, though. He'll make seasonally journeys to visit Lilygrove. And I guess we can talk about I'm this. I'm sorry I couldn't collect Gingivere's journal for you. Was it important? All relics of history are important. And Gingivere played a major role in the history of Redwall. In the history of all Mossflower. His personal records are... Why, they're priceless. I believe his descendant lives somewhere around here. I intend to meet him before returning to Lilygrove. Perhaps he can shed some light on Gingivere's story. Hmm. So long for now, Mr. Star Thistle. You'll stay out of trouble now. Do I want to talk with everyone? It's gonna take forever. And we have three twins, triplets, I think. Uh, one second. I have quite a few. So what do you mean that I didn't find any? Okay, never mind though. Um, journal, uh, something blue. There. And I'll read this later myself. <coughs> hey. Ah, uh, you're here. Why, Oleander? It's wonderful to With see you here, as sir. Usual. <laughs> Agree more. I owe you my greatest thanks for rescuing me. Do you plan to stay in Redwall a while now? I'm actually not sure. Brother Methuselah, he's the Abbey record keeper. He invited me to stay and work with him on his studies. In this place, it's filled with every book and scholar I could ever hope to learn from. I should want to stay, shouldn't I? Well, Thomas wants me to stay. He says I can reach my potential at Redwall. He thinks Lilygrove would just hold me back. But I love Lilygrove. It, it's my home. Nothing wrong with returning home. Well, the choice is yours. That's the good thing about being young. You've got plenty of time to shape your life and figure out who you want to be. Even if you return to Lilygrove now, you can come back to Redwall later. <laughs> Thank you. When did you get so wise? Oh, I wouldn't call myself that just yet. Stay safe now. I will. And who are you? I'm so ah. pleased to see your betrothed up and out of the infirmary. That calendula truly did do the trick. I guess you all had the same thing in mind. What an honour it is to welcome the Lily Grove Scout Corps into our halls, especially heroes such as yourself. The tale of your quest has been echoing through the Abbey walls since your arrival, young scout. Truly, all Mossflower is most impressed and grateful. Um, one question. How... Do you take another road that was faster and we didn't know about it? Hey, Liam. Well, hello there, Liam. Or Eagle Eye, I should say. Laban! I hear you had the rats up and running with their tails between their legs. That'd be Freby you're thinking of. He did the shouting. I just stood beside him. <laughs> did I miss much excitement after leaving Lilygrove? If you call it that. Though, from what I've heard, not more exciting than what you and Sophia experienced. We chased the rats out of the village, though I do think they were retreating anyway. Except for Scumthnout. But Captain Robin himself stood up to the Werrit. 
The captain tried to downplay it. Faye didn't really do much, but I think the Werrit would have tried to flee at all had Robin not put up a fight. So, do you think we'll be getting into more fights with Vermin? I hope not. I'm not much of a fighter myself. I've actually been thinking of asking Ruthworth to show me a thing or two about cooking. I've got quite a knack for it, you know. Not sure how, since my mum would burn water. <laughs> That's an excellent idea, Laban. You always have cooked the tastiest sour peach pudding. <laughs> it's all in the north, you see. No, you just don't uh, go too haywire on the uh, rosemary, you know? Chat later, Laban. I'll be in the kitchen, sniffing all those spices. Good to see you again, Liam Eagle Eye. What a scout you turned into, eh? <laughs> Thanks to that stew you helped me cook. Really now? That's high praise indeed. Speaking of stew, I'm only here on account of something you said. Put a bee in my burrow, you did. Me? What did I say? You told me to stop my pipe dreaming and take my try at hosting the annual name day feast. Only the highest honour a Lilygrove cook could ever reach for. I said that? In a manner of speaking, you did. And you were right. Now, I've got until autumn to perfect my most favourite recipes and earn the respect of a few key woodlanders. Critics, if you believe such a thing. Hmm. Well, I guess one time I spoke to him about it, but usually I've just been running through the game, <laughs> looking for everything else. Was it you who baked this pie, Rootsworth? I may have given Friar Hugo a few pointers here and there. All right. Hey, Glimba. Oh, her, hello, Mr. Liam. I do see now why my pops did be like in this here red wall. Her. Everybody be so welcoming. Hi. They sure know how to throw a feast, don't they? I should probably look around before I answer that. Um... I wonder when Mila is right about now. I've been thinking about little Miss Mila since the moment we did arrive. You knows, I be thinking Miss Mila's okay, I do. How do you know? I I don't be knowing. I just be hoping, but her Miss Mila be a strong woodlander, she be. Stronger than I. Limba, you're strong too. Just look at how far you've come since Camp Silver Sands. I, I do be owing some of that to Miss Mila, I do be. <sighs> no, I never got to give her flowers, I did pick her. You know, either, I believe, the, yeah, this Act 3, as I read, was the last one, but... I don't know, maybe Mila is A, captured and still not a cat now, she can't be in the catacombs. Or two, she, the next game is gonna be about her. Well, we, we, we will see, I guess. Are you going to head back to Camp Silver Sands, now that the rats are gone? We do suppose someone will be needing to repair all the damage from the flooding. But I did speak with Formal, and he be saying we ought to wait till spring for that, or... I was thinking, though, I think I may be wanting to stay here at Redwall, or... Formal, what if I mole he be, be offering me work. You'd make an excellent Redwall mole. So why the hesitancy? Oh, it, it just be my mum's. She's still back at my home village, and I suppose I ought be getting back to her. Her. I know your mother would be so happy for you finally going off and chasing your dreams. If you want to work at Redwall, certainly she would give you her blessing to do so. Say, why don't you invite her to come live here as well? The Redwall healers are the best folks to help with her affliction. Mr. Liam really be thinking so? Of course! Mossflower is such a big country, and you're the perfect mole to explore it. Er, uh, I think you be right. I'm going to write Mom a letter tonight. Er, uh, will you help me write it? Certainly. <laughs> Anything for a friend. A friend? Oh, her? Thank you, Mr. Liam. Yeah, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he said that in Act 2 at some point. I don't think I had it on my recording, but when I, you know, when I play on my own, he kind of mentioned that he was illiterate in one way or another. See you around, Limba. Bye bye, her. Oh man. Oh, bread, apple, stew. What's that? Potatoes and. 
Mushrooms? Maybe more potato? Cheese! Cheese and potatoes! Mmm, and pies! Looks like meat pies. Or... Berry pie? Uh, blueberries. No, berries. Berries. Hello, brother. Oh, you're Liam. Uh, we Ooh. haven't met yet. I'm Matthias. I heard all about your journey from the other Red Wallers. I can't believe you came face to face with so many rats and even a wear it. You must be just like Martin the Warrior. Oh, don't flatter me. Though I can certainly hope to live up to him, if not just a wee bit. What an incredible mouse he was. That's what I think. He was the bravest, most courageous mouse that ever lived. So I guess that uh, this scene has already happened. So Matthias, do you play a role here at the Abbey? Oh, I've been helping out Brother Methuselah lately. He teaches me many things like Sparrow Talk and, of course, Redwall's history. But I admire the lives of the Scouts. Traveling Mossflower, fighting to protect your families, and strangers too. Do you enjoy it? Absolutely. You know, along our quest, death faced us at every turn. I thought, all I want is to be back in my warm bed. For this to have never happened, but my friends and I survived. And we only survived because we weren't afraid to fight. So I've got to keep fighting until no one in Mossflower is threatened by those like Scumsnout ever again. Wow. That's truly inspiring, Liam. Is it possible that one day I might be like you? You can be anyone you want to be, Matthias. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Liam. Do you know Brother Methuselah? Of course. He's the Abbey Gatekeeper, and it's said he's the oldest mouse to ever live at Redwall. He's I'm not sure that, if that's he? true, but he's a scholar, and the wisest one too. He can even speak the tongue of every creature in all of Mossflower. Is that even possible? How many tongues are there? I don't know, but he's right over there if you want to speak with him. Am I supposed to follow your gaze, Mr. Matthias? Or young Matthias? You must tell me. What is it like living in a place like Redwall? Although I've been here a while now, it still feels like such a dream. Well, I've never lived anywhere else. At least, I can't remember where I came from before. But it's wonderful here. Magnificent feasts, rich history, the best healers in all the forest. And of course, the walls are wondrous to look upon themselves. Will you join the Redwall Order one day? Uh. I suppose so. That's why I'm studying with Methuselah, and that's what the abbot wants for me. I only seen like the um, TV series or whatever you want to say. Yeah, I think it is a TV series. And I'm not sure if he remembers his sister, but you know, he. <laughs> I see Freby over there. <laughs> talking with Captain Robin um, anyway yeah he should remember where he comes from a little bit but mm, I don't know I don't know say Matthias Martin the warrior is very well revered here at the Abbey isn't that right absolutely the abbot always talks about how Martin forsook the ways of the warrior as he was older but I think his warriorhood is the most incredible thing about him I must say I agree with you. Uh, have you ever perhaps heard of someone uh, seeing his spirit? His ghost? Uh, I think maybe there have been rumors about such things, but I can't really say. Why? Did you see something? I thought I saw a mouse in Portman Slough, but no one else saw him, even though I could swear I heard him shouting my name. Guiding us where to go. Do you really think it was, Martin? If it was, that makes you a true warrior, Liam. <laughs> Not a true warrior yet, but... I don't know who else it could have been. They ought to make a tapestry of you. Hmm. Um, should probably talk about these. Have you ever heard of the Scrimpole family, Matthias? 
They're stoats, good stoats, who live in Portman Slough. Valor is a healer with skills I think may rival Red Walls. Good stoats? Uh, I've never heard of anyone like that. Maybe you should ask Brother Methuselah. He knows just about everyone in all Mossflower. Holy shit. <laughs> he knows every, everybody. Absolutely everybody. Oh, if every red wall pie smells as amazing as this one, I may just have to take up a permanent residence. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, there you are. What's this? It needs a code. What? Code? Hmm, no. Hmm. Ah, down there. Okay, what code would that be? Is Ichabod here as well? There he is. Mm, Liam! Is that you? Goodness me. Just how darling do you look in that scout's uniform? Did you borrow it from Sophia? No, Mrs. Thatchling. I am a scout myself. Of course, dear. I'm only teasing. How could I forget what you did for us all back at that dirty mole camp? How's the journey? Safe, I hope? Yes, yes. I led the villagers back to Lilygrove. Those supplies strapped to our backs as though we were carts ourselves. That is truly the part I shall never forgive. My back is still bruised. I think we're gonna... The last Are you one, looking forward to returning to Lilygrove? Actually, dear, I can't believe I haven't spent more time in Redwall all my life. Everyone is so much more refined than they are in the village. Oh, that I wasn't born here was a cruel trick of nature. Well, I'm sure Redwall has room if you wanted to stay. Oh no, certainly not. Though I will insist upon returning to Lilygrove with as many red wall fabrics as I can. The patterns they weave here. Mm, incredible. I'd best be chatting with the others. Yes. Goodbye, dear. Hmm. You think we're gonna meet Cornflower here somewhere? Oh, that was her name, right? Hello, young scout. I see you arrived. Hi. What? You too, Miss Ivy Wayne. I hope that cattail down kept your paws cozy warm. Where were you when Ichabod and Belladora was... Yeah, where, where the hell were you? <laughs> I'm surprised to see Belladora isn't with you. Aren't you two quite close? Ugh! Don't you see her over there, smiling like a fool for that excuse for a mouse, Ichabod Corn Silk? Ridiculous! She seems terribly happy to me. Isn't that a good thing? Not what it's got to do with Ichabod. My sister can do so much better than him. She thinks she's truly in love with the fool. Uh, you're a smart young mouse, don't you agree? Be frank, Miss Ivy Wayne, I don't agree. Can't you see how happy Belladora is with Ichabod? Not in all my years have I seen her shine as bright as she does now. And Ichabod as well! Ridiculous! You're just as much of a fool as she is! Well then, if you feel so strongly, why don't you go much up and tell her how proud you are of her? And while you're at it, tell her I'm not speaking to her so long as she is involved with that wretched mouse! I'm pretty sure everyone heard about that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna... Farewell then, Miss Ivy Wayne. Yes, Nick. yes. Oh, goodbye now. Well, at the same time, I probably should. Ow. Oh. No, it's... Oh, hey. Okay, excuse me. Sorry to interrupt. I'll talk to Tessa. No, okay. Dear Scout! 
it is a blessing to see you and your betrothed here safe and sound. Oh, thank you. I hope your journey went smoothly, Friar Thomas. How is Oleander? Alive, thanks to you. And my house as well. I saw what you did to save it from being burnt to the ground by those wretched rats all the way back in Lilygrove. Please, if there's anything I can ever do to return your kindness, please only ask. Oh, please, you don't owe me a thing. I'm just thankful we're all here, safe in the walls. So do you plan to stay at Redwall long? Until Captain Robin and the scouts finish enough of the reconstruction of Lilygrove. I will be here, yes. I do enjoy spending time at the Abbey, however. Here I can peruse the library to my heart's desire. And by Martin, what knowledge is held within these walls? Isn't that funny? You know, the, the Abbeys and, you know, the Abbeys have all of these books, all of this knowledge. And no one else is allowed to have it. At least in, you know, our timeline. Or our our world, you know, like, all of this knowledge, and they sharing it with no one. As far as I'll I know. I'll see you around then. You certainly will. Alright, Tussa. Is that Liam Eagle Eye I see? You done showing us all up then? Hiya, Tussa. Don't worry. No one will ever be as wily as Scout as you. That is true. Although I was only teasing. I am rather wily, though. Hmm. You scouts had quite the adventure yourselves, eh? Did you hear about the battle between Scumsnout and Captain Robin? I yep. knew that mouse was a wild one, but by Martin, who knew just how skilled he is? What? Oh, come on, tell the story! We suffered not a single loss in Lilygrove, and truly I believe it is thanks to Robin. And, and you, like in the lighthouse and all. But you see, after you left, Scumsnout came tumbling down the lighthouse, blinded by the light itself, and as mm. furious as ever. He went straight for town, on a rampage. But Robin stepped right into his path. We all thought he'd be giving his life for us for sure, but no. He fought like I've never seen a mouse fight before. He came out with some scars, but he succeeded in driving Scumstout away from the village. He saved us all. That's incredible. What a brave mouse. Wait, hold on. So we burned his eyes in Lily Grove, apparently. And yet, somehow, he, he he managed to get to fucking Pontedaria. How? I guess that's shit I will never find out. Anyway, Freebie, hello. Freebie seems quite happy to see you, hmm? As I am to see him. Our scouts got to stick together, you know? Oh, yes, of course. You know, Taking Sophie and I as proof, I've heard scouts make good couples too. Well, I suppose that may be true. Wait, what's your meaning? You know, <laughs> I think Freyby may think of you as, well, more than a friend. You, you think so? No, that's silly. He can. We're just friends. Tell him how you feel, Tussa. It's worth a shot. Ugh, really, it's absurd. Like Freyby, hogwash. Maybe I'll tell him someday. Oh, come on. You two both make each other's hearts titter-tatter, don't you? You're both quite the comedians. Always looking to the other first after cracking a joke. Seeing if they're laughing. That's ridiculous! Absurd! Truly, I ought to... Did you say he likes to see if I'm laughing too? <laughs> um... I mean, we did find a letter in... Uh... In, in the Act One, where you know it says that, oh, it's Laban. Don't mind the uh, Freyby, <laughs> the Freyby-looking, uh, looking uh, handwriting. You know, never m <laughs> and all that stuff. Damn share though. Uh, What's yeah, sure next in the life of Tossa? Well, I'm a scout for life. That's always been my plan. Once Robin receives the word, we'll escort the Lily Grovers back to the village. Then I'm going to put my paws up and eat a nice wheel of cheese. Oh, save some for me, aye? Aye. Right. I'll see you around the Abbey, Tussa. Aye, aye. Bye for now, Eagle Eye. It's a blessing to see your betrothed mending so well. 
Our Abbey healers truly are gifted, wouldn't you say? is the badger is yeah it's the badger uh, this is the, <laughs> that was the wrong uh, menu constants holy shit Is there a fish around here? I'm thinking... Nah, maybe the fish is coming. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be a long episode of just talking. You look, you With look all these stories of Lilygrove, I'm thinking I may need to take a journey there myself. Once it's rebuilt, of course. It's such fun to have visitors from Lilygrove here. If only it were under better circumstances. Hello, Good to see you, young scout. Good to see you too, Mr. Cornsilk. Although, are you sure you're happy to see me? Usually you seem rather put out. What? No, I'm not. Why would I be grumpy? I'm never grumpy. Is that so? So, you don't recall complaining each time I helped you out between here and Lilygrove? Even when I rescued you from that cage, you snapped at me. Ah, uh, well, perhaps I do owe gratitude for the rat cage. But I was perfectly capable of taking care of myself those other times. Yes, all right. You don't have to thank me. I know you do appreciate it, at least deep down. Don't push your luck, Scout. So even the cranky Ichabod hides happiness behind his eyes, hmm? Whatever are you talking about? Belladora, of course! Oh, I... well, um... yes. I suppose we are happy. Would be more so if our wretched sister didn't hate us so. <laughs> Bella's just in tears over it. What's a mouse to do for his lady? Have you considered trying to get along with Dorabella? Ah, Dorabella wouldn't let me even if I tried. But I'm not backing down from Dorabella's attempts at intimidating me. Bella and I are happy together. I have no intention of giving that up. Not unless... Well, not unless it were Bella's wish. What do you plan to do now that we can't return to Lilygrove for a while? Haven't quite made up my mind about that one. Well, seeing as you are quite the capable traveller, perhaps you and Belladora could go visit St. Ninian's Church before heading back to Lilygrove. An age ago, perhaps. I mean, of course I am. Which is why I think Belladora and I will do precisely that. I'd already thought of doing that myself, actually. Of course. Do enjoy Redwall while you're here, Mr. Cornsilk. Aye, goodbye now. Oh, hello! What a blessing it is to see you. Good day, Miss Ivy Wayne. Seeing you and Nicka, um, Mr. Cornsilk here together is quite a joy. Oh, goodness me. I think so too. What's on your mind? Oh, my sister isn't speaking to me. She's having such a fit over Ichabod. Uh, I mean, Mr. Cornsilk. Ugh, bother, it, it's just awful. How could she make me choose between him and her? Because she is lonely herself. Um. Family can be so complicated. Trust me, I know as well as any. Still, she is your sister. And deep down, I'm sure she wants you to have joy. Perhaps she's merely jealous now, but she'll change her mind in time. Uh, perhaps you're right. I only wish she could find this kind of happiness for herself. The decision is yours and no one else's. I, I'll think about it. Uh, I just wish the two of them could get along. Did I talk about this? You seem truly happy, Belladora. 
What's on your mind? Well, it's this place. Isn't it just lovely? I feel I could spend a lifetime exploring this abbey. And, of course, I've got Mr. Cornsilk here with me. I'll see you around later, then. Bye for now. <sighs> Have you met with Brother Methuselah yet? No. He has a host of wisdom few woodlanders can boast to possess. Yes, that is the um, hunchback in the... Um, With all these sorry. stories of Lilygrove, I'm... No, not to, you know, shy on him, but, you know, you know uh, or shame, but, you know, yeah, wait, hold on. No, he should have, have these, yeah, never mind, probably unknown hard to uh, do those long moustache, you know, like you see in... Japanese movie, not Japanese, uh, Chinese, whatever, fuck it. Haha! <laughs> well, if it isn't Liam Eagle Eye himself, for what honor do I have in greeting such a celebrity? Oh, I can hardly call myself that. My scout career's only just begun. Aye, and we're proud of you, Eagle Eye. In fact, a lot of the critters here agree with me. It seems you've made a good name for yourself among many of the Lily Grovers. Although some, uh, not as much. Some insert by uh, not stopping to help when you could have. Ah, but don't you bother. Being a scout is all about making the tough call in a pinch. And the mission has to come first, even if the cream gets curdled, if you catch my meaning. It's true, sir. I did pass some folks by. I was just so worried about Sophia. I don't think you take my meaning. You did what you had to do, and you saw the job done. Not everybody will understand, but I do. Although, you need to get used to woodlanders uh, not always understanding what needs to get done. Uh, they get sensitive. It's always fallen to a few to protect the many. And it can be a lonely road. I remember Liam. It's a scout's duty to see the job through, and you did that. Don't let a few sour grapes spoil your victory. Not everyone can do the tough calls. Will we be heading back to Lilygrove soon? Aye, that's the plan. Once the village is rebuilt, we'll escort the Lilygrovers back to their homes. I'll actually be heading back sooner to oversee the restoration, while Robin will remain here. Meeting with the abbot, as well as other scout captains on what's all occurred. I'm so grateful you and the rest of the scouts were able to escort the lily grovers here to Redwall. No matter how deeply my worries dwelt with Sophia, I still feared for the villagers. Ah, that's a scout's job, to defend and protect. Actually, Eagle Eye, uh, some of your brothers and sisters made quite the excellent scouts themselves along the way. Your family was travelling with us, you see. You ought to talk them into joining the cause. Oh, I believe it, sir. My little sister in particular, I'm certain would be a better scout than any of us. Although, she's still a dibbon. <laughs> well, it's never too young to dream. Or to look up to your big brother. Oh, in fact, I believe I saw your family over near the bell tower. I'm sure they're anxious to see you. I'll visit them right away. Thank you, Mr. Coyle. As soon as I talk it really to is everyone good to see else, you again, sir. take it for fucking hour. Enjoy Red Wall while we're here, <laughs> really, Nikolai. But, you know. Oh, well. <clears throat> Do my eyes deceive me? Is that a rapscallion standing before me? You're a proud scout. Albert, <laughs> I'm so pleased to see you. I never doubted I'd see you safe behind these walls. Not for a single moment. How did everyone do after separating at Camp Silver Sands? Ah, yes. I think you scouts inspired in us the power of, uh, cooperation. We worked together to bring the supplies back to Lady Grove. And after that, Robin and the rest of the scouts escorted us here to Redwall. What's on your plate now, Albert? Honestly, I'm having a joyous time spent in the Abbey. Sometimes I wonder if I should have joined the Brotherhood myself. I think I'd have made a fine Abbey Mouse. Don't you? Brother Albert. 
like it. Does that mean you're going to stay in the Abbey? No, no. Lily Grove is where I was born, and Lily Grove is where I will live out the rest of my days. I'll return home as soon as we can. Hopefully the rats haven't done too much damage to my shop. Don't count on it, buddy. We'll catch up later, Albert. Very well. See you later. Yeah, what's on the plate? What's this? Like, mini pies? Anyway, the reason I was looking for a fish is because, you know, then we know kinda where we are, but maybe the fish will come later on. Good to see you again! Oh, there you are! I have been just itching to see you. When we saw Cheese Thief and his crew follow you after the flood, Brunok and I were so worried. I wasn't worried. I knew they could handle themselves. Oh, yes you were. You were just quivering in your fur. <laughs> Oh, but look at you now, a fully-fledged scout, defeating whole rat armies on your own. Oh, what an exaggeration! Oh, please, I know you're just being humble. What exactly happened after we were separated at Camp Silversands? Well, we brought the supplies back to Lilygrove, like we planned. Ooh. It was a long journey, but no rats gave us trouble. Thank goodness. After delivering the supplies, a few of the scouts such as Robin, Coyle, and Laban, escorted us all to Redwall. I'm glad to hear you weren't all right. captured all over again. Cheese Leaf and his crew chased after you, leaving us an opening to escape. I don't think we would have gotten far otherwise. What are you two going to do while Lily Grove is under repair? Well, the scouts are busy at work rebuilding the village, as are some moles who came to help from nearby. Isn't that nice? They say Captain Robin will let us know when it's alright to return. Brunok and I are itching to get back. Actually, Brunok wishes he were back right now, working away at the construction process. He always does like a bit of hard work, and maybe a chance to show off. I've actually got <laughs> big plans for Foxglove and me while here at the Abbey. I'm gonna take her down to the gardens. She loves flowers, you know. It's true, I do. And then I'll take her to fish in the pond trout and stargaze up upon the wall. Then we'll explore the library and perhaps visit the recorder at St. Ninian's Church. <laughs> oh, darling. We'll be busy till spring. Oh, I'm just happy to be here with you. Enjoy your stay. And you I... too. Take care. And I think we've been talking to both of them. Uh, well... Oh, my tail is quivering in anticipation of tasting a slice of that pie. Impressive work, gathering all the jam yourself. Okay. I like the portraits of the uh, brothers and, you know, and sisters. It looks like they're like, you know, they've been here a while, you know, like, come plump, if you know what I mean, but, nah, never mind. Oh, we're finally here, Liam! You know, of course, I always knew we'd make it, but Jeez. the abbey walls never seemed real until we finally looked upon them. And have you seen that pie? <laughs> I saw you sneaking a nibble of that pie earlier, you know. What? Of course I didn't. Uh, oh, you weren't going to tell on me, are you? Yeah, your son is a shitload of shit. <laughs> uh. About our plan. Aye. Actually, Brother Methuselah and the scouts are going to help us gather others, like the squirrel and otter warriors in Mossflower villages, to track down Mila with us. I knew Redwall wouldn't turn their back on her. And once we find Mila, I was thinking we head west, to the sea. Cheese Thief will be there, right? And Valo with him. Aye, we owe Valo this much. So then, Freyby, you ready for another quest? Ready to knock some vermin heads. So? Tossa seems glad to see you. Oi, she's been bugging me about getting stuck up in that tree back in Old Moss Creek all day. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how she found out about it. I'm sure you like the attention, eh? Hmm. What's your meaning, Liam? Well, I just think you two might make a, you know, good couple. What? I, 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 uh, 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 where? And you know, I suspect Tossa thinks so too. Does, uh, does she really? 
Wait, no, that's ridiculous. We're just friends, co-scouts. Yes, and Sophie and I were just friends until I admitted my feelings to her. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, bother. Perhaps uh, you could give me some advice later, Liam. I'd be happy to. Might be a little heated from time to time, I feel, but you know. Are you going to return to Lilygrove then? Oh, certainly. That is, after we complete our other quest. The scouts wouldn't get far without freebie. Well, I know I certainly wouldn't have. Aye, you don't have to make it all mushy. Let's visit the kitchens later, yes? <laughs> oh, I'll already be there. <laughs> yes, the kitchens, of course. I can't believe you really fought off a werret all on your own. You're a little like Martin yourself, aren't you? I probably shouldn't. <laughs> um... I don't, probably don't need to speak with that fella. I had no doubt you'd succeed, Liam Eagle Eye. Saving Sophia, defeating a Werner. How do you feel about going down and scout history? To be truthful, Captain, I couldn't have done any of those things without the help of my friends. All the better a reason to be remembered. You know, the villagers here are already sharing your tale, going on about how it was you who was there to lend a paw whenever something foul crossed their path. Most of them, that is. Some didn't seem too happy with you. But, Sophia, the villagers here don't seem too pleased with you. Going on about how whenever you'd passed by and they needed a helping paw, you didn't offer yours. I should have been more attentive to them, sir. I am sorry. Don't forget, the lily on your jacket serves to protect all. Who didn't I help? <laughs> Never mind. We feel that shit out. Sir... Is it true you face Scumsnout yourself after Sophia and I left Lilygrove? Ah, did you hear that? Don't be mistaken, I'm not the hero of that tale. If Coyle and the scouts hadn't set up a diversion to draw his attention away from the village, and if you hadn't blinded him in your own lighthouse stunt, I would never have succeeded in driving him away. But you're all right, right? Ah, a few scratches and scars, but nothing of concern. The healers are insisted on treating me with calendula, but... I'll be just fine. Thank you, sir, for believing in me as a scout and as a mouse. I know you'll continue to do us proud. Let's talk to him. Welcome to Redwall Abbey, young scout. Cheers. Uh, who haven't we spoken to? You. Have you seen Matthias? With his shoes too big for his feet. <laughs> yes, oh. actually. The poor lad's quite certainly going to trip if he keeps that up. Oh, yeah, he trips in front of the um, tapestry, is it? But, yeah, his, <laughs> his feet are a bit too small for his shoes. Or it's the other way around. Why can't I talk to you? The little dibbons are aching to hear your tale again, young scout. Perhaps you can tell it by the fireside again this evening. And bring that handsome glimmer along too. Uh, who else have we spoken to? I'll speak with you. Oh, okay. Uh, I spoke with you, I think. Oh, shit. Um, wait, wait, wait. No. No. Thank you for welcoming us into your... All creatures are... We Sorry, um... Meant to speak with you first. Sophia. Liam. We're here. We made it. Hi, Liam. We're really here. Hey, the blood is off. Nice. Have you thought much about the scrimples? Oh, so much my heart aches. Are you and Freby still talking about going out to find Mila? Yes, we have. We're going to go find her and bring her home. Then we'll travel west, all the way to the sea if we have to. And we'll bring Valo and Bolo home too. Anywhere you go, I'm coming too. Are you sure, Soph? Yes. It's the right thing to do. And truthfully, I owe it to Valo. 
I don't think I'd be here with you today if it weren't for him and his children. I've never felt so relieved to have a warm bed. I feel I could sleep for a fortnight. <laughs> Leave Rivermouse, you deserve to sleep until spring. You carried me all this way yourself. Well, it's Glimber with the sore back now. That's just <laughs> it. Glimber, Tussa, the Lily Grove refugees. They're all here and alive because of you. You're the hero, Liam. You're giving me too much credit, Soph. Although, it was quite the stretch, wasn't it? I almost thought I'd lost you. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I've never felt so... Okay, sorry. Well, it's glim... That's just it. You're giving me... <laughs> um... Once your shoulder is healed, we have a wedding to plan. Isn't that right? I still think we ought to hold it here, at the Abbey. I imagine how beautiful it will be. An archway in the gardens, a feast in the Great Hall. I can't wait, milady. And more importantly, I can't wait to start this new adventure with you. Sophia, did you see? In the gardens, your whole family is here. And mine too. I did see. Although... I'm a bit nervous. I haven't had a pleasant conversation with my mother and sisters since I left to join the Scouts. Are they still unhappy with me? Oh, Sophia, how could they be? You're the hero of Lilygrove now! If they aren't proud of you, then the trouble is with them, not you. Thank you, Liam. You know, I heard from Coyle that your sisters and brothers are quite the little Scouts themselves on the way here. Is that so? Perhaps I ought to convince them to join up as well. So, to my understanding, no one in Lilac Rope died. Everyone just skedaddled. <laughs> like, rats, run. Uh, yeah. How would you feel about a visit to St. Ninian's Church one of these days? Oh, that would be just lovely. I heard John Churchmouse keeps just buckets of the most delicious golden apples you've ever tasted. Anyone else? With all these stories. Spoke to you. I guess Cornflower ain't here. Can expect her to see her. The tale of your quest. What's that code down there? Anyway. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, right, right. Uh... Now, sorry for keeping you waiting. Are you, son. Brother Methuselah? Sir? I am, child. Mother? And you are Liam, Lily Grove's hero. Is that right? You no. Know, you know, everyone keeps calling me that. A hero. But I don't really feel like one. Hmm. I think perhaps that is precisely what makes you a hero. I've heard your name spoken before, in and around Lilygrove. Have you been there? You've heard my name, eh? Hmm. I am acquainted with some of the mice in your village. Friar Thomas, for one. Uh, your Captain Robin. The Star Thistles. Jolly old Ichabod. I've never seen him jolly. Perhaps you're thinking of another Ichabod. Perhaps that was a few seasons past. But no, I'm quite sure it's the same mouse. Verily, everyone here knows Ichabod, don't you know that? Anyway, I have made my way around, especially in my youth. Some of these folks I know their parents, and even their parents' parents. I make it my duty to know all good beasts and their stories. Do you have a job here at the Abbey? I am the Abbey Gatekeeper and a scholar, the chief record keeper, truly. Some of these mice and moles don't know the value of a good book. I preserve them anyway. I'd like to build a proper library. I've actually been drawing up plans for one, though I'm not sure when it will be done. Isn't this guy stupendously old? 
I, I believe he is. Like, sus suspended something <laughs> there. I can't. Never mind. Um, Has anyone ever seen the spirit of Martin before? Like a vision? Or something of the sort? Why, yes! It's been rather rare, and no one example entirely credible. But there have been such sightings, usually amongst heroes or those in desperate situations. I think I may be one of those mice. In Portman Slough, there was a snake, and there was an odd figure no one else could see guiding us, or me, through the bog. He even called my name. I believe it is entirely possible it was Martin himself you saw. What an honor it is to be bestowed with a vision of such a mouse. Methuselah, do you know Valo Scrimpole? He and his family live in the Winsome Wraith. The healers there. I have heard of Valo, yes. Though I have unfortunately never made the pleasure. I also heard what he did for you and your friends. What a good beast he must be. And what terrible circumstances have fallen upon him. You see, Fraby and I want to go looking for little Mila. And, well, her dream was to come to Redwall and practice the healing arts. Do you believe they would let her? So long as I live, I will vouch for such a beast. Okay, so they would let her. Uh, I just hope they don't find out about the heart. You don't think the rat will come back, do you? Heart it is troubling indeed. And unfortunately, our father Abbott doesn't seem to be taking it so seriously. But I don't think you ought to spend your days worrying, Liam. Leave that to us old folks. But Chase Thief could very well come back. We don't know why they even came in the first place. This is true. But rest assured, if such an army does arrive, we have Martin himself to guide and protect us. Have I mistaken this guy for someone else? Have I mistaken this dude for the ones who had these long... this long... Uh, I, th I think I have. I think this is the the other guy, you know, the one who... I don't know. Uh, yeah, he, um, yeah, he talks with Matthias after he tips the boat when he's out fishing with someone else. Uh, like, you shouldn't be doing that, you know, don't do that. Um, anything else? Yeah, I think so. Ah, and as for you, dear friend, while not every legend is known and not every tale is told, each is precious beyond measure. Your own tale may take you through pastures and perils, fields and fears, but should you ever find yourself wandering that woodland path, listen for the bells ringing in the distance, smell the welcoming fires of the evening meal, Watch for that glimpse of red through the forest. Know that you are always welcome within our home, here at Red Wall Abbey. All right. Within these walls, where the joy. Really, the ending I expected, but you know, we we got there, and uh, you know, the rats uh, wasn't following them, and uh, you know, Scum's now is probably dead. Uh, so um, yeah, why not? Would have been probably unnecessary, but it would be nice to you know walk yourself the last uh, yeah the last hundred meters. Anyway, and enjoy the uh, credits. Though shadows crawl and chill our children's bones, save 
and sound on pause side by side in the hall great and small we'll stand and we'll sing all together from more big love to cavern hall within this place welcome all Word came and found the hall in smoke and flame, triumphant over tooth and claw, he smote his foes with iron paw, vein of vermin strong and bold. Long foretold the forge is cold, the blacksmith gone. He sleeps in salamander strong. storm or sea, the woodland rested in his shade, and peace increased through glen and glade, root and apple, corn and wheat, growing on the mountain's feet, the tree is dead, its seeds live on and roll and salamander strong Symbols on the walls, all that is and will befall eternal watch from dusk to dawn. He keeps in Salamander strong. He keeps. In Salamander Strong. All right, so thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I definitely have. And, uh, well, I, I'm gonna keep going. See you all in whatever I have planned next. And I hope you will all enjoy it. Farewell.